60 Minutes Overtime. This week on 60 Minutes, we got a little preview of the future. This is the good one, yeah. And it's just fascinating to see. It's the future of genetic engineering and human health. And one of the people leading the way in this area is a man named George Church, who's had a lab at Harvard for more than 30 years. One of the things your lab is working on is reversing aging. That's right. How is that possible? Reversing aging is one of these things that is easy to dismiss, to say, to say either we don't need it or it's impossible or both. Oh, we need it. Okay, we need it. That's good. Okay. One of the things that George Church spends a lot of time thinking about is genetic equality. In other words, he does not want to see a world in which big advances in genetic engineering, like reversing the aging process, are available only to the people who can afford it. Does all of this that we're talking about ultimately lead to designer babies? Babies that are immune to all viruses, that are smarter than their predecessors, prettier, faster, stronger? So when we talk about, uh, I mean, designer babies, we're really talking about enhancement. One of the top issues is whether it's equitably distributed. We're not necessarily opposed to enhancement if everybody gets access to it simultaneously. And there are plenty of examples of things where we have embraced enhancement. So our, our cell phones with, with all of the world's knowledge at our fingertips is a huge enhancement. George Church thinks of DNA editing as engineering. He says, we have enhanced our ability to move around with cars and jet planes. He says those are engineering enhancements. And so he doesn't see a great distinction between being able to travel 550 miles an hour on an airliner or changing somebody's genome in order to make them maybe cognitively more astute. From the dawn of the human race, it seems, DNA has been destiny. And I wonder if we have reached a point where that's no longer true. In a way, DNA was never destiny without environment and uh, roll of the dice. And in a way, uh, we are taking more and more control over our biological destiny. Um, we're certainly no longer at the whims of some infectious disease that, that whips through because we have um, vaccines. George Church thinks a great deal about safety. He is in favor of government regulation. In fact, he thinks there should be more government oversight in genetic engineering. And he's also very concerned about something he calls reversibility. He doesn't want to create anything in the lab that cannot be reversed, something that we can't take back if we decide that it has unintended consequences. The major risks in genetics going forward are what? Well, I think that we uh, do things that are irreversible. So a lot of the technology we develop, we try to make them reversible, containable. So the risks are that people get, some people get excited, so excited that they ignore uh, well-articulated uh, risks. I imagine that medicine will be unrecognizable to us in just 50 years. There are going to be techniques, there are going to be edits in the human genome that are possible that will cure perhaps all hereditary diseases and many other advances which we can only just imagine at this point. But what struck me is that these things are coming much sooner than we might have imagined.